Are you trying to decide if you should get a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog? In today's video, I actually interview veterinarian Dr. Addie Reinhardt, and she walks us through basically the three common health issues found in Boston Terriers like Bella here, as well as three common health issues found in French Bulldogs or Frenchies. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. And today what I wanna to cover is basically a versus video. I know a lot of you are deciding whether or not to get a French Bulldog or a Boston Terrier, because that was mine and Emily's story a decade ago whenever we were thinking about getting, well, a close your ears, Bella, a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog. My wife wanted a Frenchie. I wanted a dog that was a little bit bigger as far as like how tall they were and, and being able to run a little bit. And well, we got Bella here. So in this video, what I wanna cover are the three common health issues found within each of the dog breeds, both a Frenchie and a Boston Terrier. So let's go ahead and get into the interview. Hey, Dr. Reinhardt, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Hey, Donnie, it's good to be back on the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to talking with you about some common health conditions. Today, what I wanna do, you know, we already did the video of pugs versus Boston Terriers with their health issues. And in that video, I really had you highlight the common issues that you'd seen in your practice as far as dealing with Boston Terriers. But in this video, I just wanna cover the three common health issues found within the entire Boston Terrier breed. Now, if anybody's interested in seeing that pug video, I'll put that in the show notes below. But if you can just shed light on what are the common health issues within Boston Terriers, that'd be great. Three of the most common conditions I see in Boston Terriers are corneal ulcers, luxating patellas, and cherry eye. One of the most common eye issues among Boston Terriers is corneal ulcers or eye ulcers. Corneal ulcers are essentially scratches on the surface of the eye. They most commonly occur because of some trauma that's happened to the eye. And this can happen um, during play, contact with some kind of sharp object, or something getting stuck in the eye. With eye ulcers, you're usually going to notice uh, that your dog is going to be squinting a lot. Uh, because the eye is painful. They may also paw at the eye, have eye pain, or eye discharge, or eye redness. So these are all signs that your dog might have an eye ulcer. Because eye ulcers can get a lot worse really fast if left untreated, it's so important to visit your vet as soon as you notice an eye issue in your Boston Terrier. I have seen some eye ulcers turn into ruptured eyes if left untreated. Vets are going to be able to treat eye ulcers with antibiotics and dog specific pain medication. The cost of treating a corneal ulcer usually runs on average around $100 to $300 if you catch it early. If you wait until it gets worse, surgery to correct eye ulcers or eye removal can be potentially upwards of one to $3,000. One of the most common orthopedic conditions seen in Boston Terriers is patella luxation. This is essentially when the kneecap pops in and out of place when it's not supposed to. So signs and symptoms that your Boston has a luxating patella is um, limping or intermittent limping. So this can come on suddenly um, or after exercise. And luxating patellas can unfortunately predispose your Boston to other injuries such as torn ACLs. So vets can quickly diagnose a luxating patella on physical exam. And depending on the severity of the luxating patella, your vet may recommend uh, that you do surgery or they might tell you to wait and watch it. Surgery for this condition usually runs on average between one to $3,000, depending on your location and who does the surgery. Cherry eye is another common condition seen in Boston Terriers. A cherry eye is also known as prolapsed third eyelid gland. So when the gland uh, within the third eyelid pops out of its normal position within the corner of the eye, it may look like a red, round, swollen piece of tissue. This condition is probably genetic, uh, which is why we think it might be more common in Boston Terriers because it is genetic, and it usually requires surgery to be repaired. And the cost of this surgery can vary widely depending on which technique is performed and what vet performs the procedure and if one or both eyes need repaired. So I've seen price estimates anywhere
anywhere from $300 to $3,000, depending on all those factors. But usually on average, you're gonna spend between $500 to $1,500 to repair one cherry eye. Okay, well, yeah, this is great. And I just do wanna let people know that Dr. Reinhardt had done some in-depth videos, both on patella luxation in Boston Terriers, as well as red eye in Boston Terriers or cherry eye. And I'll put those videos in the show notes below if you guys wanna check those in-depth videos out. Now I wanna cover French Bulldogs or Frenchies. So what are the common health issues that you see within the French Bulldog community? Three of the most common conditions that I see in French Bulldogs are ear infections, conjunctivitis, and allergies. Starting with ear infections, ear infections seem to be one of the most common conditions in Frenchies. One study found that um, over 14% of Frenchies may have experienced ear infections at some point in their life. So signs of an ear infection include scratching at the ear, foul odor from the ear, shaking of the head, or ear discharge. Ear infections can be caused by either bacteria or yeast, and vets will treat ear infections with an ear cleaner and ear antibiotics or antifungal medication. The typical vet bill for a single ear infection can range from $100 to $300, though it could be a little less or a little bit more, uh, depending on your location. Conjunctivitis is another common condition seen in Frenchies. Conjunctivitis um, is characterized by eye redness, eye itchiness, and eye discharge. It's kind of like pink eye in people. This condition can be diagnosed by your vet and is treated with eye antibiotics and sometimes even an eye steroid to calm down the itchiness within the eye. If you ever notice eye problems in your Frenchie, it's important to get them to the vet right away because certain eye conditions like glaucoma can cause permanent blindness. So it's important to get these things seen early and sooner rather than later. So the average vet bill for treating conjunctivitis is between $100 to $400, depending on what test your vet might want to run. Allergies seem to be especially common in French Bulldogs. This could be an allergy to something in the environment, such as a pollen, a tree pollen, or a food allergy, or something in the food. Symptoms of allergies include itching and scratching, redness of the skin, licking of the paws, hair thinning, and recurrent skin and ear infections. Treatment of allergies is usually targeted at relieving the symptoms and treating any underlying infections. So medications like Cytopoint injections or Apoquil can help reduce the amount of itchiness that your dog is experiencing. Allergies can become quickly very expensive if you have to give your dog year-round allergy medication. If your uh, dog is on veterinary prescribed allergy medication, all year round, the cost for managing allergies can on average range from $500 to $1,500 or more per year for allergy medications and vet bills. All right, well, this is great. Thanks so much, Dr. Reinhardt, for coming on today. I think this is really gonna be helpful and it's gonna help a lot of people as far as making a decision on whether or not they should get a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog. Thanks, Donnie, again, for having me on the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. I hope that this has been helpful information. Hey, I hope you found value out of this video. If you did, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. Okay, question of the day. If you've owned a French Bulldog or a Boston Terrier, put in the comments below what health issues you saw within them whenever you owned the dog. If it was a French Bulldog, make sure that you mark Frenchie on it. If it was a Boston Terrier, put Boston Terrier. This way, when people come to this video, they can go in the comments section and get some more value as far as what owners say, common health issues that they've had with both a Frenchie and a Boston Terrier. Now, if you wanna see more health-related videos regarding Boston Terriers, you can check out that playlist here, or you can check out one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Yep. Bella did pretty good on this one. Have a good one. Bye.